Comic Con Episode Four: uh, Fans Hope is a film uh, that we made, we shot two years ago here at Comic Con, and we wanted to we wanted the film to kind of give you a window into the world that you've kind of really never seen. We've heard about Comic Con, you usually only get the story of like you know famous people or freaks in costumes. That's all they do. And I, I thought there was a real deeper story to tell about the passion, the drive, why people come here. What is why is it so important? Sit in my chair. Let me make you look good. Buckets off, everybody. Okay, we're good. Right, like to be able to be at Comic Con with this film, showing it in Ballroom 20, where there's probably going to be like 4,000 people there tonight. I mean, it's going to be raucous and exciting. I can't, I'm, I am giddy about showing it tonight. Holly Conrad, our costume designer, will be there tonight. And uh, Skip, Skip Harvey, one of our uh, comic book artists who is trying to break in, will be there. Anthony Calderon, our toy collector, yeah, will be there. You know, Eric Henson, our comic book artist, has now done three or four covers, you know, with a couple different uh, book publishers. I mean, it's amazing. That guy's the career's really taking off. Really wanted, I wanted to do this so badly. Well, I, I came, I, I'd always wanted to come and never could, you know, for whatever reasons. Life, you know, always has, always gets in the way for something. And in 2009, I got called to do the Simpsons 20th anniversary special for Fox. And the minute I hung up the phone, I was like, we're going to Comic-Con. I was like, we're going to Comic-Con, we're gonna go there, we're gonna find Simpsons super fans, we're gonna, we're gonna go there and have people kind of wax rhapsodic about all things Homer and why they love this, you know, this show. And when we were here shooting that special, uh, I was like, there's a deeper story to tell about Comic-Con. There's something great we could do. And I met Stan Lee that night, and Stan's like, we should make a movie together. We, we, should, make a, we should make a documentary about Comic-Con. And I was like, that's a great idea, Mr. Lee. Yes, we should. And it was a, a, a geek dream team that came together to make this film. And now, on, now it's on DVD, and that geek d dream team is available in action figure form. Probably the first time ever a documentary has action figures. I have to think this is probably a first. Usually when we make a film, we, we start our first pass or at the assembly edit is about five hours. And then it goes down to about three and a half. And then it goes down to about three. And then two and a half. And once you start hitting about two and a half, two hours is when it gets really hard because that's stuff that is really good. Like there's like gold at, the, at those points that you're like, we gotta lose the gold. As much as that seems great, it doesn't benefit the movie. And, and it's tough, you know, you have a lot of fights with your co-producers and your editors and um, people leave angry, but uh, you know, we, you know, it's, it all comes, it's all part of the process. It's all part of the battle that is making a movie.